Nearly 60,000 street children and vulnerable young people are benefiting from the federal government's implementation of the At-Risk Children Program, ARCP, in Sokoto State, Northwest Nigeria. The At-Risk Children Program is an initiative of the federal government designed to comprehensively address the cross-cutting concerns of children and young adults at risk, thereby providing them with a life of dignity. Speaking in Sokoto while addressing the youth facilitators, special advisor to the president on social investment investment, Mariam Wise, who is also the national leader of ACP, said the intervention in Sokoto is crucial in view of the rising numbers of outer school children and young people who are exposed to various forms of vulnerability in the state, stressing that all hands must be on deck to effectively address the challenge. I'm really looking forward to engaging in Sokoto because Sokoto is one of our, you know, the states with the highest numbers. And then when it comes to poverty, I'm sure you saw the MPI results recently. We all have a responsibility. It's not just government, even though I'm government. But it's important that we all put our hands together, including the media, to see that if there are any atrocities, I think you need to report it. You need to, we need to protect these children. They've been out on the streets for too long. And uh, we need to give them an opportunity to live a productive life. We need to give them hope. We need to give them skills. We need to make them assets to their families. Many of them, you don't know whether the cure to cancer is lurking in their brains, but they don't have the opportunities. We're just lucky to be where we are today, you know, just by the grace of God. So, inshallah, we'll be able to make a big impact in the lives of these young citizens. So what we're doing now is we're training these uh, youth facilitators to mentor them, to give them, I mean, to protect them. But we're also hoping to begin feeding um, as soon as we get the funds to, to do that. So I think feeding will be a huge incentive. But we want to also incentivize the parents, you know, and the gatekeepers to come out with packages for them. Many of them, you know, they do this out of, not out, they love their children, but they don't appreciate the value of Western education. But foundational literacy and numeracy in this day and age has become critical. You know, and then on that they can build the skills and do something productive.